Hey, what's up? This is Key Builder Oblivion. I recently made a video about the Share Factory Update 2.5, and I got a lot of comments saying that they're having problems with, you know, importing videos and stuff like that with the iframes because that's the most common problem. Um, other pro there are other problems also, but I never heard anything about that under my video comment section. So right here, I'm gonna tell you guys what I normally do to get rid of this iframe setting that's not um, interval setting that's not supported, and what how my get around with it because I do have a way to get around with it. But also, I interviewed Muhammad, who is um, the lead director on Share Factory. So I'm going to put a screenshot of his PSN um, in information and then he also has like his like, Twitter information if you want to contact him or whatever. But let me put that up right now. So as you can see here, this is Muhammad Khan and he's project lead of Share Factory. You can find his Twitter on that right there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys what I normally do and how I get around this. And then I'll, I um, also sent him a message on PSN and he um, explained to me the best way to get around this. So I'll explain that also right now. So hopefully this video helps. Leave a like, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you found it helpful. So here we have the main problems that you could find in um, share factory well not problems but like these this is what the share factory update supports when you talking about videos and stuff mp4 um m sorry mov and sorry the screen is kind of small so i can't really read it you guys could read it for yourselves possible video and stuff but if you look at the last bullet point keyframe interval also referred to as iframes of 60 frames or less 30 recommended so that's the main problem with your videos right there I tell a lot of people in my comment section to just press the options button and then you'll be able to pull up this like this little area and then if you press those arrows you'll be able to go to the images and also um, the also you'll be able to go to the uh, music so it also helps you with all those other stuff so um, I'm going to show you guys, tell you guys what I normally do. So what I normally do is I um, use a, what do you call it? I use a um, editing software on my computer, which is free. It's free. So it's called Shotcut. And if I take a video off of YouTube, right? you know with the YouTube converter files y'all I'm sure everyone knows about that if I take a video off of YouTube I run my video through that editing software it's free like I said and what that does I don't know the specific um, settings I have it at but what that does it makes it perfectly into like the format that share factory um, likes for things to be imported so I never really had a problem I just run it through that I render everything and then I put it on my USP and um, upload it I mean import it and share factory just accepts it but normally um, before that share factory doesn't accept it I tried it and stuff like that so now I'm gonna show you guys the conversation I had with Mohammed um, on what the best way to do this so I felt that you guys really needed help on how to do this. So I went ahead and um, messaged him and this is what I said. I was, I told him my name. I said, I'm a big fan of Share Factory and I made a video about the 2.5 update and many people were having problems to my best. Um, and I did my best to answer y'all. And um, apparently um, no one got back to me on my comment section telling me if it was good. So I want to know the best way to get around iframes and I want to know if I could interview him and get him in a party and see what he had to say, like how he would make Share Factory better. So this is what he had to say coming up right here. So um, he was like, oh, hi, Ryan. I'm glad to hear you enjoy Share Factory. This is why I love Share Factory community. People help each other for the iframe keyframe error on import. We're trying to communicate the best workarounds. Using a free app like Handbrake on PC is a great way to re-encode any video to match up the specifications required by Share Factory. I actually didn't go ahead and um, download Handbrake yet or see what it's all about. But basically, this is what it is. Um, so it'll just re-encode whatever video you have, 
and it will automatically be to the specifications after you get it re-encoded. So there's no needing to tinker with the settings or anything like that. I think they actually had a video on this recently. I'm trying to remember where it was, but I don't remember where I saw it because after everyone was having problems, um, I just thought, let me go see if someone actually made a better video than me. And no one really did except for the people who actually um, worked on the share factory project they made a really good video I think and I'm forgetting who it was but so anyway um the way I found him was I hovered over the share factory app and then I pressed the down d-pad and then it took me to this area and I forgot where it was cuz I looked through this again and I actually didn't find him it was him and someone else who works on share factory that's there and I didn't um I didn't follow the dude on, um, I didn't follow him on PlayStation. I followed Muhammad on PlayStation and that's who I contacted first. But when I came back, I couldn't find him. So maybe y'all will be able to find him or you should just type in his name. Y'all know how he looks. Um, he's certified on um, PlayStation. So you know that's the real dude. And um, I just want to say thank you to him for um, getting back to me and letting me know the best way to you know go about this entire thing and if y'all want to message him and say thank you let him know that you know key wheeler oblivion um, my name ryan um made a video to help you guys know the best way to do it and it was really helpful so just say thank you or whatever leave uh, follow him and then you'll get follow him on twitter and on playstation you'll get some good updates he apparently he's a um huge destiny fan so he we posts um, videos people made on share factory onto his Twitter and on his PlayStation so this has been key wheeler oblivion leave a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll be trying to make the community a better place you know doing all this stuff that people having trouble on so leave a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe I'm out